Hi everyone, my name is Amber Peterson. I'm Lit World's Director of Program Innovation, and it's my deep pleasure to present this year's Be the Story Award to Jerry Craft. Jerry Craft is a New York Times best-selling author illustrator who has worked on numerous picture books, graphic novels, and middle grade novels, including the Newbery award-winning graphic novel, New Kid, and its critically acclaimed companion book, Class Act. He has won five African American Literary Awards and is a co-founder of the Schomburg Center's annual Black Comic Book Festival. Jerry's gift as a writer and an illustrator and his steadfast commitment to using the power of storytelling to help children feel seen and heard actualized Lit World's mission of strengthening kids and communities through the power of stories. All right, and uh, if you wanna share your screen, Absolutely. So as you see, while I'm doing this, I'm drawing a picture of Jordan Banks, who is the protagonist of New Kid. So, um, you know, we absolutely love your quote. I make the books I wish I had as a kid. You know, Lit World's mission is all about trying to provide that for kids all over the world. So uh, can you talk a little bit about what you think it means to be a storyteller and the ways that your stories and your characters explore that idea? You know, my goal has always been, you know, to come up with characters, uh, African-American characters specifically, who are kind of universal, because I just never thought that my story when I was a kid was ever really told um, in a sense of way that was like also empathetic. And I just really wanted to do like kids that were just really good kids. You know, life is not perfect, but there's just a way that you know, good kids still come out on top. You know, there's not a whole lot of like misery and every, you know, the weight of the world on their shoulders because, you know, that was really missing. Um, it's funny, you know, being honored by Lit World because I could not think of anything that was less fun than reading when I was a kid. I did not like to read at all. And I think a lot of it was because I did not see any characters that looked like me. I did not see mirrors. But I was just so fortunate to be able to be able to create stories that I have always wanted to see and that I was proud for my kids to see and for other kids to see. And, and not just African-American characters, but all kids, which is absolutely unbelievable. I did not have a school librarian until I was, I think, in ninth grade. And by then, I had already realized that reading was not something that I enjoyed doing. You know, the library in my neighborhood in Washington Heights is an amazing place now, you know, with so many kids and colors and life. But back then it was something out of a Harry Potter novel where you, you know, you go in and all the books had dust on them and you couldn't talk, you couldn't breathe, you know, and you expected like owls to be flying around and stuff. Um, so I can't go back and say, oh, you know what, go and approach the librarian, I'm sure she'll be nice because, you know, at that time it was more like a monitor, you know, of keeping kids quiet. But yeah, it was, it was kind of tough, you know? So I think it would just be like, you know, don't give up. I, I didn't have, like with my sons, you know, they went from Captain Underpants to Wimpy Kid to Bone and Amulet to Percy Jackson. So I did not see that kind of progression for me. So I basically went to playing video games. So what do you hope that the kids and the adults who read your stories walk away with? You know, I, all my life, again, I have just wanted kids of color to just be seen as regular kids, you know, without the weight of the world on their shoulders and mm. every decision is life and death or, you know, that kind of thing. So that when they meet people like Jordan or Drew or Kirk in real life, they don't always have these preconceived notions that they are suffering and they're in, you know, one single parent households where they have to do everything themselves and there's no love and all that. So I just really wanted to make sure that I had kids who, you know, had aspirations, you know, uh, and just wanted to be more you know, and have the same things that they saw kids on TV have. I, as, a, as a kid who grew up looking for those stories as well, I echo that 100%. Um, so 
last question here. Um, do you have any advice for storytellers, be they young or old? You know, I, I always get told or heard to write what you know. Now that doesn't mean that you can't write a story about people going into outer space or monsters or whatever, but I know what it's like to kind of not fit in and, and have aspirations and goals that were not necessarily uh, duplicated with my peers. So that's one of the biggest things. So the, the emotion that you see in New Kid in Class Act are real because, you know, they come from my life and also my, my two sons. So that's a, a big thing. And also to finish it because there are many of us that have been working on that novel for 40 years and you keep changing and keep changing. And you know, even if you're not gonna submit it, at least finish it so that you can go back and edit it. I have people that always come to me and like, hey, well, you know, I wanna be a writer. W what's it like? And they'll, they'll say like, oh, how, how much did you work yesterday? I said, oh, you know what? I worked from about nine to two. And one guy went, oh, let's see. So nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. Wow, six hours, that's a lot. And I was like, no, no, no. Nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, midnight, one, two. <laughs> you know, and then it's like, oh, like, yeah, maybe you don't really want to do this, <laughs> you know? Uh, but I just absolutely love to draw and write and create characters. And, and when I hear about kids that have turned them from a reluctant reader into a kid that's like, wow, maybe there are more books like this, you know, or for me, that just is absolutely unbelievable. Well, thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you're, you're welcome so much. And thank you, Lit World, for all the support and all my fans and readers out there. I appreciate each and every one of you.